Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to set up the chat relay mod on your server. This tutorial will be for Tmod Loader, but we've also done a video for T-Shock, so if you're interested in that, make sure to click the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Firstly, to be able to download this mod with Tmod Loader, you'll have to have Tmod Loader itself downloaded. If you don't know how to do that, we've also made a video on how to do so, so the link will be in the description. However, if you've already got that set up, make sure to load Tmod Loader up. Next, click on the Mod Browser tab. What you do now is simply type in Chat Relay in the search bar at the top, and this should be the only mod that comes up. Press the green arrow next to it to download the mod. It should only take a second to finish downloading, but to make sure everything is working as intended, press back and go into the mods tab. Here you should see that the relay mod is enabled, meaning you followed these previous tabs correctly. Next, you want to click on the open mods folder tab for this files explorer window to pop up. For now, simply minimize the window as that's what we're gonna be using in the next step. Now that Chat Relay is installed on your client, we need to make sure it's also installed on your server. Firstly, you'll have to head to the server.pro website. There you should have a VPS server in order to follow the next few steps. We've actually made a tutorial on how to purchase a VPS server, so if you're interested in seeing that, click the i in the top right. However, if you already have one, simply head to its control panel. Then you want to click the Create a Service tab on the left. When this panel appears, make sure the service is set to Terraria and that the type is set to Tmod Loader. You can then select the version you want your server to be and its world name, but when you're happy with the settings, press install for your service to be created. You should wait a couple seconds for it to fully boot up, and that's it, your server is created. Now you need to click on the service and head into the files tab. There will be a mods folder which you're going to click on. Afterwards, open the files explorer window you minimized, select all the files inside the mods folder and drag them into the server's mod folder. It shouldn't take long to upload, so when it's done, quickly restart the server to make sure the mod loads in properly. We're not done just yet. The last step is to set up Discord to Terraria Relay and that requires a few extra steps to get it working. Firstly, you'll need to make sure you have a Discord account. If you don't already, we'll leave a link down below to Discord where you can create one. However, the next step is to visit the Discord developer portal link. You can also find that in the description. Then you can click on new application and name your bot. Keep in mind you have the option of changing the name later if you decide to. When you're done, click create and you should be redirected to the general information page. Press on the bot tab, click add bot and then yes, do it. Now that your bot is successfully created, make sure to look for the token section. Then click the click to reveal token button to reveal your discord token. Copy that token and quickly set the public bot to off so strangers can't randomly add your bot to their discord server. Afterwards, head back to Server Pro, into your server and then the Files tab on your service. Open up the Mod Configs folder and then the Terraria Chat Relay folder. When these files pop up, open the Terraria Chat Relay file and paste the bot token into the text. Make sure to save the file and then restart the service to ensure everything works as intended. Back on Discord, click on the OAuth2 page, go into the URL generator section and from there select the bot option. Then make sure to select all the permissions I have selected on the screen. When you've done that, copy the link. You then want to head back to Discord, this is where you're going to create a server so you can use your bot. Simply press the plus button and customise the server as you wish. When you're done, you want to make sure the server has a text channel for the in-game chat. All you have to do is right click on the dashboard at the side and add a channel. When that's done, paste the link you copied earlier into your browser at the URL bar at the top and enter. This is where you're going to assign the bot to the server you just created. Returning to Discord, head into your server and click user settings on the bottom left. Head to the advanced section and simply make sure to turn developer mode on. Then close out of those settings and open up server settings. We'll be creating a bot role for the server. Click on roles, create a role, name it whatever you want and then on permissions make sure to scroll down to the bottom to give the bot role admin. This is crucial as it'll give the bot all the permissions needed. Next step is to right click the in-game chat text channel you've created and copy ID. This will only be shown if you've got developer mode on, so if it's not showing up it's because it's turned off. 
After copying the ID, head back to your server pro server and open up the Terraria JSON file backup. Find the line saying channel IDs and paste the ID below in the place of zero. Then you should quickly restart the server to make sure the changes take effect. Last step before we start up the Terraria server is to go back to our Discord server, right click the bot and give it the bot role we created earlier. Now we want to make sure everything is working as intended, so quickly open up your TMOD loader application. When that's opened, head to multiplayer and join via IP. When it asks for your IP address, you can obtain that by going to your server's main dashboard and copying the host name. Then paste that into the game and press enter. When it asks for the server port, you simply have to head to your service and copy the server port number on the dashboard. Paste that into your game and press enter once again and it should load you into your server. Now that you're in game, you can type out anything to test if the chat relay mod is set up properly. After, go back to your discord server and into the in-game chat text channel. There you should see the bot saying that you joined the server as well as showing the message you typed in game. It also works vice versa, if you type something on discord and then head back to your terraria game it should also come up in chat. If it comes up for both then you have followed these steps correctly and chat relay is successfully installed on your server. Well that's it for this video, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching!